Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, and we welcome you to the Feeding House of Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about humankind, all people without exception or distinction, sinful humanity. We're talking about the world. Nothing in the world so tends to defile the imagination, to pervert the affections, to corrupt the morals as self-consciousness. We know that it's connected with every disease and morbid action of the body. All self-consciousness is the very essence and nature of sin. God is preparing his heroes. And when the time is right, he will fit them into their places in a moment. And all the world will wonder, where did they come from? The joy of Christ and the joy of the world cannot reside together. A heart delighted with worldly joy cannot feel the comforts of the spirit. The one of these destroys the other. But in sanctified trouble, the comforts of God's word are felt and perceived in the most sensible manner. You savor not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. There's not a single thing that's offered in this all-too-temporary world for which you should ever sell your soul. And to take with us, the world needs people so possessed with the spirit of God that God can think his thoughts through their minds, that he can plan his will through their actions, that he can direct his strategy for world evangelism through his church. When you're close to God, you feel at odds with the world. Yet during those times when you drifted away from him, well, that's when you think that this world is just peachy, and believe that it will make you happy. It's either all of Christ or none of Christ. We need to preach, again, a whole Christ to the world. A Christ who doesn't need our apologies. A Christ who will not be divided. A Christ who will either be Lord of all or will not be Lord at all. We are to have a positive influence in, which, in the world in which we live. If seasoning has no flavor, it has no value. If Christians make no effort to affect the world around them, they are of little value to God. If we are too much like the world, we are worthless as seasoning. We shouldn't blend in with everyone else. Instead, we should affect others positively, just as seasoning brings out the best flavor in food. God wants us to be a light in the world. Can you hide a city that's sitting on top of a hill? Its light at night can be seen for miles. If we live for Christ, we will glow like lights, showing others what Christ is like. We hide our light by, one, being quiet when we should speak, two, going along with the crowd, three, denying the light, four, letting sin dim our light, five, not explaining our light to others, or six, ignoring the needs of others. Be a beacon of truth. Don't shut your light off from the rest of the world. Christ wants Christians to make a difference in the world. The world hates genuine Christians because their values are different from their own. Because Christ's followers don't cooperate with the world by joining into it, its sin, they're living accusations they are living accusations against the world's immorality. The world follows Satan's agenda, and Satan is the confirmed enemy of Jesus and his people. Jesus didn't ask God to 
take believers out of the world, but instead to use them in the world. Yeah. Because Jesus sends us into the world, we shouldn't try to escape the world, nor should we avoid all relationships with non-Christians. We are called to be salt and light and to do the work God has sent us to do. Our view of the world and our actions in it ought to be motivated by our awareness of God's plan. Sin has caused all creation to fall from the state in which God created it. So, the world is subject to frustration and bondage to decay so that it cannot fulfill its intended purpose. One day, all creation will be liberated and transformed. Until that time, it waits in eager expectation for the resurrection of God's children. God has much for us to do in the world as we wait. Genuine Christians see the world as it is, physically decaying and spiritually infected with sin. But Christians don't need to be pessimistic because they have hope for the future. They look forward to the new heaven and the new earth that God has promised. And they wait for God's new order that will free the world of sin, sickness, and evil. In the meantime, True Christians go in Christ's name into the world to heal bodies, souls, and fight the evil that affects the evil effects of sin. Amen. Amen.